Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Croatian Mathematical Olympiad for 10th graders, 1996, problem number 1. Let f be a function, a real function, satisfying the following three conditions. f of 1 is 1, f of x plus y is f of x plus f of y, so Cauchy functional equation is satisfied, and moreover, f of 1 over x equals f of x over x squared for all non-zero x's. We wish to find f of square root of 1,996. So, in fact, we will solve, we will find the general form of our function. Here are my hints. First, show that f of 1 minus x equals 1 minus f of x for all real numbers x. And consider this nifty expression, f of x plus 1 over x, where x is neither minus 1 nor 0. And notice that this fraction can be written in two different ways, namely x plus 1 over x can be written as 1 over x over x plus 1. And use this fact and use our conditions to find our function. So give this problem a try. All right, so, uh, so let's, let's start with uh, noticing that by condition number two, by condition number two, we can write the following. Well, f of one minus x plus f of x is exactly the same as f of one minus x plus x. And now by condition number one, on the left hand side we have just f of 1, but f of 1 is 1. So 1 minus f of x equals f of 1 minus x. And let's call this equation 4. We will use it. And now I wish to consider let, let x be a real number, but not minus 1 and not 0. And I will consider f of x plus 1 over x. Well, notice that this can be written as f of 1 plus 1 over x. By our equation number 2, f of something plus something is f of 1 plus f of 1 over x. And now, by conditions 1 and 3, by conditions 1 and 3, well, f of 1 is 1, while f of 1 over x is f of x over x squared. So it can be written as x squared plus f of x over x squared. Let's remember that. But also notice that the very same expression can be written in a different way. It can be written as f of 1 over x over x plus 1. And now, using condition number 3, f of 1 over something, it's uh, f of that very something over x square over this variable squared. All right. And now, Notice that in the numerator we can write 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 over x over x plus 1 squared. And now, using this equation number 4, which I derived, by equation number 4, I can write f of 1 minus f of 1 over x plus 1 over x over x plus 1 squared. And now I will use conditions, uh, condition 1, and I will use condition 3. I'm using them all, over and over again, as you can see. f of 1 is 1, while f of 1 over x plus 1, it's f of x plus 1 over x plus 1 squared over x over x plus 1 squared. 
All right. Now I will use condition number two once again. F of x plus one. It's f of x plus f of one over x plus one squared. And maybe you know what? Let's get rid of this fraction because dividing by x over x plus one squared is the same as multiplying by the reciprocity. And now one last time using the fact that f of one is one. So using condition number one, we have the following. It's one minus f of x plus one x plus one squared x plus one over x squared. And now we can make the common denominator x plus one squared minus one minus f of x over x plus one squared times x plus one squared over x squared. And after simplifications, we'll have x squared plus 2x minus f of x over x squared. All right. And now let's recall that we have written the very same expression in two different ways, in two different ways. So it's both this expression. It's both this expression and this expression. They describe the very same quantity, so they are equal. They are equal and after solving this very easily, we show that for every real number apart from minus one and zero, f of x equals x. But what about minus one and zero? Well, by condition, it's not strictly necessary because we just want to compute f of square root, but by condition number two, Notice that by condition number two, f of zero plus zero equals f of zero plus f of zero, which means that f of zero is zero. And by condition number two, once again, f of one plus minus one, for example, equals f of one plus f of minus one. But here we have f of zero, it's zero. Uh, f of one is one by condition number one. So f of minus one is minus one after solving it, which means that for every real number, for every real number x, f of x equals x. It's pretty easy to verify that it, it is in fact the only solution. And now, in particular, in particular, f of square root of 1,996, it's square root of 1,996. And that closes our problem because it's exactly what we wanted. So yes, a pretty nice equation, I'd say. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.